welcome back you guys i came back with a new camera i do apologize about not uploading on monday but i did have some complications with the little digital camera that i was using and i was like whatever fuck it i'm just gonna go buy a brand new camera and deal with it that way i was gonna go ahead and get another camera off of craigslist i'm sorry offers up but that was way too much for me so i just went straight to best buy bought a camera came home and that was it a few people requested me to recreate this look for you guys and it really excited me because I don't get much um, requests to make a video on looks that I've already done. So when people were giving me feedback letting me know that they loved to see this particular look, I was so excited to go ahead and re-record this and get this up for you guys. If you guys are interested in seeing how I created this look, please stay tuned and I'll show you exactly how I got it. I've already added my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer onto my lids as my primer. So right now I'm just going to even everything out. And then go in with the Z palette that I made and take this color right here, which is like a skin tone fleshy color. And I'm just setting my concealer with this. I'm taking MAC Shadow in Cork and I'm applying that on the same fluffy brush. And I'm adding this to my crease. Now I'm going in with my BH Cosmetics Smoky Eye 28 color eyeshadow palette and I'm taking this shade right here using this gray shade and this MAC 227 and I'm applying this literally all over my lid and on my crease as well. Just going back in with cork and I'll start blending those harsh lines out in my crease. After applying my lid shades, I'll go in with my NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk and a detail brush and I'll start cutting out this little crease area where I put the ultra bright pigment set. So what I want to do is basically cut out my crease, but just a small portion of my crease like this. So I'm just going to take a line and shape it out. Once I've shaped out where I want it to be cut, I'll make it bigger now. Just taking more of that NYX Jumbo Pencil and bringing this more further out. Into like a half a circle basically, but I want it to be tapered. It's okay if you make it too big right here because you can always just take some of the gray shadow and fix it up. So now I'm just taking some of that shadow once I've done that, I'll go in with my pencil brush and I'll start blending it all away. Just gonna add a little bit on top of here. For those neon colors, I was using this neon pigment stack. This is from, I believe it's called Mayo Makeup. And they have a stack like this in a few shades. Um, this one is just the ultra bright neons. And I think, I, I believe I paid $25 for these. These are so great. You just have to really know how to work these because they are very powdery. Also, um, what I didn't realize before is that these will mix up and turn into another color. So on my lids, I don't have a purple shade and I don't have a orange shade on my eye. I only used yellow, pink, and blue. And in between those shades, they mixed together and created the orange and the purple. Just to let everybody know, because I don't have a neon purple in this stack. I'm taking this beautiful neon yellow and I'm applying that to the first part of this cut that I did in my crease. It's okay if it gets a little bit of messy outside of the lines. This pigment is really going to stick on to this white that is here. So we can take our brush and just wipe all of this away. Oh my god, look what I did. Then I'm taking this gorgeous pink shade and adding that directly next to this yellow. I'm not going to mix the shade just yet. I'm just going to apply the color where I want to first. Now I'm just going to go in between both shades and start making orange. Once I've applied the pink and blended it in with the yellow, I'll go in with this gorgeous royal blue. Before I do anything, I want to just tap it onto the base first and then start blending it lightly with the pink. 
to get the sharpness back on my outer corner, I'm going back in with this gray and just cleaning up these lines. I want it to be a little bit more extended, this blue, so I'm going to add a little bit more of this white. On the same brush, I'm going to add the blue. For the makeup wipe, I'm just cleaning up under my eye, going back in with that neon pink shade and... Before I finish up the eye, I'll go ahead and do my foundation. What I like to use at this moment is the NARS Luminous Foundation in Valencia. I'll add a couple pumps of this on the back of my hand. Because I feel like no foundation is right without it, I put my matte velvet inside and I'll mix it together and start applying it to my face. Before I use any type of beauty blenders or anything like that, I'll go in with my finger and apply most of it to my face first. And then the rest of it I'll use on my beauty blender and I'll go ahead and pat it into my skin. I have a Morphe beauty sponge. I don't know why I keep calling it beauty blender. The reason why I don't like going directly in with my sponge is because they do soak up a lot of product. I like to apply most of the product on my face first, add a little bit to my beauty sponge, and then start applying the foundation because I feel like it doesn't take away from the coverage, it just starts patting it into the skin. After applying my foundation, I'll go in with my concealer. I like to use the NARS Creamy Concealer. My color is in Cafe Con Leche. Under my eyes, I'll be using two concealers. I'll be using the MAC Pro Longwear because it will give it a little bit more moisture. These NARS concealers are very drying concealers. They're creamy concealers, no lie, but they do dry down to a matte finish. So this combination is going to keep my skin from drying out basically. And it also blends in a lot more smoother now that I'm feeling a little bit more dry. Before, I would just use my NARS Creamy Concealer. That would work perfectly fine for me. But now, since my face is a little bit more dry right now, it's not blending out or looking as natural as I want it to. And before I go ahead and blend out those inner corners with that pink, I'm just making sure I blend everything else out first before I get pink everywhere. Doing the bridge of my nose now chin and forehead with a blending brush I'm just gonna go in the middle and just blend this like this after blending my concealer I'll go in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and add that all under my eyes also I'll go ahead and bake my smile lines Going in with the lightweight face powder, I like to use the Maybelline Fit Me. I'll take it on a kabuki brush and I'll pat it into my skin first. And then I'll go ahead and buff everything out. I'm also trying out a new bronzer, guys. I'm using the Tarte Bronzer in Park Ave Princess. And it looks like this. I'm hoping that it's going to give me a bronzy feel instead of a very grayish feel. So we are going to see. The way I already see it, I see it as a shadow. I don't see this as a bronzer. This is going to be more of like a contour color because it's so gray on me. Well, maybe if I tweak it right, it'll look nice. Because it's actually looking really pretty. Like once things are started to blend out, I can see some of the bronziness in it. I just don't want to have a muddy face. That's what I'm afraid of is a muddy face. I bronzed my skin. I'm going to go ahead and contour up a little bit. I'm going with my MAC Swiss Chocolate and another angle brush and going to just whoop, add a little bit of this because I don't like to be too chiseled, but I do like to be defined. I'm just going to add a little on my nose now. I'm using Nectar from my Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio in Peachy Love and adding that to my cheeks. And before I finish up the eyes, I'll go in with my translucent powder one more time. I like to do this step because it cleans up everything. If you did go a little bit further down with it or if you bronze too much, it'll go ahead and just clean all that out. I'll go in with this NYX Jumbo Pencil in Oyster. This is like a very pearly lavender shade. It's so beautiful. And what I like to do is I'll go over it twice. Once I've done that, I'll go in with a definer brush and back in with that gray shade that I applied all over my lids. I'll put that 
on the rim of my lower lash line. Now that I've applied that dark gray to my lower lash line, I'm going in with cork, which is that shade that we add as our transition color, and I'm blending this all out. In my Anastasia subculture palette, there's this shade called Electric, and I'm applying this to my brow bone. I'm not even going to lie to you guys, this eyeshadow palette might be a dub using all of the colors together, but to be honest, I've used these colors separately, like of course Electric, um, I think this is called, uh, okay this one's Adorn, Roxy, New Wave, Axis, and Untamed are all great colors. Also Dawn, Dawn's also a great color, but I did try using this eyeshadow palette all together to make one look and they the colors didn't clash together, they didn't make a pretty look so I like to use them on their own. Now I'm taking some Violet Gloss Glitter Glue and I'm adding a little bit of that on top of Electric and adding this really really pretty green glitter to give it like a sparkle if you can see it. Can y'all see that sparkle? That sparkle is amazing. And now I'm just gonna do my liner. The swing is just not here to play. It's here to struggle. So I'm not even gonna play with it like that. I'm gonna just let it be. Because sometimes you just have to let shit be. Taking a NYX white eyeliner, I'm just adding a line in the middle of my wing liner. And I'm doing the same for the other eye. Once majority of my eye is done, I'll go in with my favorite mascara, which is the Clinique High Impact Mascara, and just coat my lashes in them now it's time for lashes I like to use these lashes right here these are the Elu cosmetics Becca lashes but these are long when I say long these is a long pair of lashes but they're beautiful um, and they also fit my eye really nicely they don't make my eyes look too big as I could say or the lashes don't look too big on my eye they do flatter my eyes so I like that about these. First, I'll go right above, take the lash and put it right in the middle. Then I'll go ahead and clamp each side down. One side, two sides. I do like to clamp my real lashes and my false lashes together. Before, I would take my uh, tweezers and I would take the tweezers, go really close to the lash line and just clamp down on them. But now I got this tool and it clamps my lashes down. And it's so awesome, so easy to use, also lifts your lashes and plies them nice and close to the lash line also while clamping your real lashes to your false lashes making them look like your real lashes i'm using the highlighter that anastasia and amrezy collaborated with each other and applying that on my cheekbones now it's time for my lipstick i am taking my fenty lipstick in single and applying this on my lips And because I did get a lot of glue everywhere, I'm taking this and cleaning up. For the little pearls that I had in this area right here, I'm using these little pearls. I got these from Michaels. Um, I think a pack of these pearls were like five bucks and you get them in all sizes. The only thing is, is they stick a lot better on, obviously with lash glue, but I don't want them to be on for that long. I do want them to be a little bit easy to come off. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick my struggle. So I put three. Now I'm just going to wipe this excess powder off my face. And then I'm taking my Too Faced 3-in-1 setting spray and setting my entire face. This sets everything down. I love this stuff. And this is the completed look, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Also, give me some thoughts in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Also, interact with you guys. If you do want to see more content from me, please press the subscribe button. And until next time, bye, guys.